So the warning burnout. And I normally I would react to these releases like the moment they come out. But I was like, you know what? Let's do it live. Let's do it live on a Friday night on YouTube. Maybe the stream gets taken down. Maybe not. We'll find out. We'll find out in the moment. That's my question for you. While you see this recording, and it's going to be fine, did this stream get taken down while I was reacting to it on YouTube? It is the warning, so probably not. But I don't know. There's always that chance. So I've not seen this. I've not heard this before. I've not seen this before either. Uh, the warning burnout official lyric video. I'm a huge fan of the warning. So obviously I'm going to be a little bit biased here. But uh, let's press that play button and see what we think of this. Okay. Here we go. Uh, switch the Twitch if it gets taken down. Of course. Of course. But don't. But don't sabotage a repo. <laughs> That's the backup plan. Okay. <laughs> That's the backup. All right. Yeah, hey guys, get on that lifeboat right now, just in case. Here we go. We sit, never catching up. Wait, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up, back up. Let me back this up again and increase the volume. It was too low for me. We sit, never catching up. So you think you're good enough. You're so blissfully unaware. Drag me down like you never cared. You lost all your ambitions in a part of bad decisions, you know. Oh, you're making it too easy. Best believe you're gonna reap what you sow. Oh, say you got it so bad, baby. Yeah, that's all you talk about. There ain't even a spark inside you. There's nothing to burn out. The smoke around you spins us into you're just a burnout. Freaking empty promises. Talk is cheap when no one's listening. You play a demolition with a list of self inflictions, you know. Oh, say you got it so bad, baby. That's all you talk about. There ain't even a spark inside you. Nothing to burn out. The smoke around you spins us into you're just a burnout. So far, so good. Streams go up.
Okay. All right. It's over. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, o- I'm honest during these reactions, and here you're going to find out. I am pretty biased when it comes to the warning. I really do like them, and I like their new material. Automatic Sun was amazing. I also really liked more. I listened to that quite a bit, reacted to it, I think about eight times, but not enough. Sick, I liked Sick as well. Uh, K Mas Queers, I, I really, oh, that one's really good. This one, honestly, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, and it hurts your feelings. Cry me a river, okay? When I pressed the play button, I didn't even realize I pressed the play button. I thought I was hearing a jingle for a commercial. I thought I was hearing my background music. When the when that first fuzz uh, line came in. I I legit thought it was something playing in my background. I didn't think it was them. Okay. Did the song get better? Yes, it did. But the song's pacing to me is a bit too chill. But maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe this song is a more of a chill bass. Or chill bass. Chill pace. Okay. It's just a bit too chill. And that's coming from someone who likes to chill. I mean, compare it to the recent new songs, which is fair to do. Sick is faster. It hits harder. Um, While there's still a lot of like... I noticed in this new album, they're going to have a lot of the... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Like that fat fuzz sound for the bass it's just just like they seem to like that they're playing around with that and i understand why they are as i pay attention to what the girls say uh they want to write music that they like to listen to and i notice that this sound is coming from uh, something you'd hear from like the muse and or uh what was that band um dead poet society that that, that Powell listens to so, I, I could see where they get their influence from. from. And, I, look, some people are going to be, like, blaming the writer f- for the song. I think there's a co-writer. I think there is. Uh, let's see. Uh, lyrics. Actually, no. Lyrics by Shandan Horan. There's that. But I believe in the... Uh, let's see. I thought with the production of this would... There was someone else. I did see that. Uh, I'll table that for later. Oh, but the lyrics are written by someone else, though. That's interesting. That is interesting there. Uh, so we were, uh, some people were going to have a problem with that. They didn't actually write their lyrics for this song. What's going on? Uh, that's going to happen when you when you are busy touring and you need to come out with stuff. You're gonna You're going to get guest writers. You're going to be like, oh, that's not right. That, that should do it. Um, they have and they will. Like, you might not like it, but it, it's it's it is what it is. And it's not like there's not it's like e- even very popular bands that have done stuff like this have guest writers and. Or, you know, we'll write with others and stuff and collab and things. So that happens. Anyway. But more importantly, back to the song and what I heard. It was... Man. With other options on the album, I would skip this song. The chorus is catchy. Sure. But the warning has other songs that just sound better. Okay. even Even their new songs. That's some that some people don't like. Okay, I like their new stuff, but this song. Hey, maybe maybe it will be a lot better live. Maybe I'll change my mind. I, I don't know. We'll find out though. Anyway, with that said, you guys, let me know what you thought about this, and y'all take it easy. <laughs>